evening guys editing tandy from the future so excuse my skin i am peeling here you will see in the video that i'm using written a but i realized that i didn't actually welcome you guys to this vlog so welcome to my channel so it was gonna be hard for me to place an intro without me saying hello or welcome to my channel so if you're new here thank you so much for tuning in my name is sunny gamma and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back tg gang so i do hope you enjoy the video and i just wanted to apologize there are scenes where my lens is kind of dirty i don't know what was happening with my lens and um this vlog but my apologies for that i do hope that you still enjoy um what i managed to capture for you guys the past week so until my next video obviously i'm not gonna say anything now because you need to watch i can't say much love because you need to watch but anyway thanks for tuning in guys so i filmed this look i don't know if it came out great i don't know if i'm editing the video i don't know if it's up but if it is up then you definitely know to check it out so i got this press job from brutal fruit i think it's for them to make up for the fact that they sent me glasses and they had never sent me brutal fruit before so i was always like what am i supposed to do with those glasses so i'm gonna try it out my only dilemma is like this is screwed on hard labor y'all know i ain't got no man like let's start there as long as i can be like babe can you please come down and help me because that's me like mina straight up i am a big baby and i love having someone that can do the basic things for me i'm sorry if you can't do the basic things for me we cannot date I'm such a baby when I'm in a relationship so right now I want to be like babe oh this thing needs a screwdriver please look for a screwdriver when you're coming down and then can you please come take one out for me now if you don't mind please <laughs> that's me pretending but yeah anyways um I have load shedding currently obviously just so you're not confused the lights are on because i have an inverter but i can't i can't turn on my fridge and my appliances aren't on uh, the inverter keeps my lights on and the wi-fi and allows me to have hot water so that's good but besides that um all i did was shoot i have a few emails that i need to respond to um basically this is their new brutal fruit sent me this because they're introducing their new lychee flavor um and it is 21 years i think they're celebrating their birthday 21 years so that's cute but i'm just relaxing on this couch i'm trying to like uh i'm trying to i'm trying to do something on my phone but yeah, I really need to start editing. It's either I make my dinner early and start editing while I watch something. But if I am editing the makeup tour, I'm editing it today. So it can go up as soon as possible. That's what I want to do. But now I need to go look for a screwdriver. So I can undo this. And um, these flowers also, I just want to keep them because they look so nice and they're fresh. So yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll put them in a vase after i go find you no guys no like do you guys watch sinikugu's vlogs do you see how like having a man j to wake up and make breakfast for yo aksem nandi guys Woo! but anyway our time will come time will come slowly but surely 
I decree it and yes someone said I should be praying for my man I pray for him every single night that wherever he is even if someone else is keeping him company right now I just need you to know you're doing a good job honey keeping that man company but he is mine he is mine <laughs> jokes guys I really did something when I was doing my face today. It's like I was so motivated by the fact that I'm filming this for you guys. And I was like, focus. Girl, you better focus. So I really hope it came out good. Because if it didn't, I'm trashing it and I'm not posting it. But this is how my, my face came out. I just mean if the video didn't come out good, then I'm trashing it and I have to refilm it. But the makeup itself came out good i just don't know how it translated on camera and like i've been wearing this lippy like this for over two hours and because i haven't eaten anything it still looks good but let me eat something child let me, <laughs> let me eat something and it's gonna be gone 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 guys guess who's here we are doing what are we a vlog crossover vlog crossover tina because this part is going to be on your channel as on your vlog as well oh like a you know when someone look guys can you please tell tina she needs to wear red lipstick more often because she looks cute today with her bob thank you so nice anyway we have the same meal today so tina decided that we should cook together and i was like yazin makes sense so she's here and we're having this pork belly oh uh -uh, and this camera why is it not why so white okay there we go we're frying that now so must leave it to fry yeah yeah just leave it to fry on one side so it looks like crisp and then we flip it over okay hi guys uh we have a visitor in the gamma residence Christine is here because she has no electricity, but it won't be long. We pray for her that soon she will also join the inverters club. But for now that she does not have an inverter, we will host her. So anyway, guys, I filmed the makeup tutorial today. So this face that you're seeing is a face you're going to see on camera later. I don't know on YouTube. You've maybe seen it or you maybe not. If I have not scrapped this one because I scrapped the first one and a lot of people were so sad when I put it on Instagram and I said guys I filmed the makeup tutorial but I scrapped it because it was not what I wanted um, the sound was horrible so this time I decided to film a voiceover so hopefully we do not have any issues um, it's just based on how I came out Tina doesn't like my pencil that I used today she said it's very dark so I have to go back to my old one but yeah, I have three different pencils that I usually use. Um, um, I'll probably have named them in the makeup tutorial. So if you guys are interested, go watch. Anyway, the girl is here. She brought her own food. Her own Cause I don't like to stress people. And I don't like to be hungry in people's houses. She was here last night. She's here again. So I go. I won't fool you, lah. No, I'm just saying that you're back. You should have just slept over, you see? Like I yeah. said. Because I asked her, why didn't you sleep over? And she would have been here still. And it would have been nice to sleep over because we're going to watch TV till late. No, I'm glad you're looking. Why? Yes, it's in a so strict. She's just going to be a mother. She's going to be like, I'm glad you're looking. I'm going to be like, I'm glad you're looking. Are you going to be such a strict mom, yo? Like They're always gonna be like, can we please go to Auntie Tandy's house? Go. Oh, I there. Welcome. My, house is my room. Mm, my stomach is already going. I'm hungry. Okay, should I just make you yours with my same time? Okay. All right. So I'm gonna make us breakfast now. Then I'm going to shoot. Hopefully, when I eat, I don't mess up my lipstick because I need to shoot my lace campaign. I need to shoot my albany campaign i'm actually on a long-term albany campaign if you guys don't know it's just that it's not on instagram it's on tiktok now you're gonna sponsor us with bread bread is expensive eh? <laughs> <laughs> if there's a hustler that likes hustling things it's this girl so anyway no i'm not gonna sponsor you bread because usually um i always have to go buy the bread they give me a bunch i have to go buy the bread so now I have to just go through my um, 
Oh, I was gonna say, Guti, don't just look at social media like your income is only being Instagram, YouTube. Try diversify yourself. I noticed a lot of last year and this year, a lot of my work has been on TikTok. As in, like, the campaign is only for TikTok. It doesn't need to be posted on Instagram or on um, YouTube. So that income alone is just coming from TikTok. So I do have campaigns that just come on TikTok and nowhere else. So like if you know the Instagram is not for you and um, what else? YouTube is not for you, then try out TikTok because TikTok is like so many different people. You grow very fast. You grow very fast. Ways, yeah. Yes. And then when you're on TikTok and you know you have a huge following, I'd highly recommend you join um, Humans. I will link down the Humans platform down below. They always share a lot of campaigns on there. You can also link your Instagram because sometimes it will um, be a, a campaign that's both Instagram and TikTok or sometimes it's just a poetry for TikTok. But you go there and you can bid for campaigns. Um, last year, a lot of my income also came from campaigns that I got off humans. So definitely if you're an upcoming um, content creator or you're trying to get into the content space, go there. And also, sometimes they do put campaigns where like it's just sort of like a trade exchange where you get... Um, how can I say this? They'll give you like the product, right? So don't be scared to take those on if you're new in the industry. Take those on because it's you giving yourself the opportunity to showcase what you're capable of. And that way, now that they have you on the database that you've done work with them before, you always come up higher than you never having done anything with them before. So don't be afraid to do trade exchanges in the beginning just to get your name out there. After you've done that, you can bid for um, for stuff that has money and like Why they did really not come out clear on. my photos. Let me see. Hi guys. So I am running a slightly it's 300 late. meters. Keep right at the fork. Okay. So I'm running slightly late. I have three events today. I don't know how I always repeat three events, but I have three events. One right now and two in the evening. Keep right so, at the fork. Um, this one starts at 11 the gps says i'll be there at quarter past 11 so not that late there was an actual shuttle but i missed the shuttle slot i'm late i was too late to go um it's an hour away from where i live so right now i'm just trying to like well it's not really an hour 48 minutes which feels like an hour i'm just trying to rush and get there on time um and then yeah my other events are in the evening so i think it was just best that i drive there so that i can leave on time to get back home refresh for the events in the evening which is one being as a fashion week i was invited by mr price to attend two um shows and then also there is the beauty on a tap store opening launch so that's today as well um i'm trying to think what i'm gonna wear later i'm not wearing this top actually by the way my shirt is on why am i putting my bag on there to increase it my shirt is on the seats because i don't want to sweat in it because yo i know when we get that side of like that area it gets really hot and it's a long sleeve shirt i was like i can't be sweating in the car and then i get there and i've got like sweaty armpits so i was like let me not wear it because like sometimes my armpits just like disappoint me um so yeah i'm just trying to rush but yeah it's a loaded day of events so i will see you guys when i get there Okay guys, I've arrived. I don't even know if I'm going in the right direction. No, I took the wrong turn. I think it's the other one.
this is so nice. So the video, we're going to see um, the exhibition. I'm with Bully. You guys haven't seen Bully in a long time. In, I think in forever. Like in a very long time. In a very long time. Yo. Hi TG gang. Hi. <laughs> Me answering for you guys. You guys are saying hey. Oh, this is a nice. So this is the exhibition of the Aqua for Life. Amani um, collaboration. So all these things can be purchased? Yes. Okay. Oh, even like the diffusers and stuff? Yep. The diffusers, this is nice. The moisturizers, the garments. Those are just testers, I think. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not able to assist you. <laughs> I'm not the person who normally might have the spot. But, uh, I can. This little shop is so cute. We look so cute, all of us. But it's for me. And then... <laughs> We all are so We have gone through this and today walking out I saw faces that I haven't seen for a long time. Thank you very much for being here. And new faces that I have not seen before. Welcome. You ready? You not? We're not going to let you go. We're going to keep you with us forever. Ladies and gentlemen, a pivotal, a, a pivotal, or pivotal to our success are our financial partners. My brand name is Arte. So being part of the SA Fashion Week is a life-changing event. Oh, it's so wonderful. I have waited so long, I cannot tell you. It makes me feel emotional. Because it brings together all the industry professionals who are passionate about fashion. With Mr. Price being the sponsor, there's a lot of exciting opportunities that could be in that collaboration. It's a nice little catapult into the industry. The inspiration behind my collection is reuse, reuse and recycle. My focal point was they are unique. I tried to create a more modern feel and look from the, from my heritage.
Number two was a uh, fashion week. Just shopping. Why am I so pale? Oh my god, why is this on here? Oh, sorry. Hey guys. Sorry, I am at my third event today. Don't do it. Guys, I'm at I'm at at home. So these two diffusers, if you guys just come and try them out, absolutely stunning. Um, there's a whole lot on the side, so I'm gonna be adding this to my bathroom. Guys, whenever I run out of ideas, I always come to this showroom just to like steal some ideas. This is in at home. Yo, I'm so hot. I think it's my period. Like I have a high temperature right now. Guys, so I'm waiting for someone to assemble um, this piece that I bought for me. I'm not gonna go assemble it at home because I don't even have a screwdriver. So I'm sitting at home waiting. I'm here with my tea. I'm on my own tea at home because I'm not spending money on tea um, that costs 40 rand a cup. Hey guys, so I'm officially back home. Oh, um, and I washed my hair. This is a length check. I was about to cut this into, like, I was like looking at my sister's hair. I'm like, maybe Nami must do the bob life, yes. And then I was gonna chop off. Obviously this much hair just so I can have a bob like a short one. I was like no ways. I can't do that to myself But anyway I'm back home um, So I went to get this I'm shooting a campaign with baby soft and I've been meaning to fix up my guest bathroom Downstairs because it's the bathroom that I use the most and it's the bathroom that like people that come to my house use the most I remember uh, when my mom and um, her boyfriend were here the other day. They were like, "You don't have towels in the bathroom." I was like, "So embarrassed." I was like, "I'm so sorry, guys. I'm not so used to like having guests." So anyway, I decided to get stuff to put in there. Um, so because I'm filming a campaign in there, I was like, "Yo, it makes sense to like do it now." Like fix it up a bit now so I also got this artificial plant from Woolworths you guys know I did get another one at the time but it was too um, how can I say it was too big for the spot I wanted to put it on so this is gonna be nice it's just gonna like fall on one side and then I'm gonna put my towel like towels in here and um, stuff over there we'll see how that looks so that's what I got and it was originally $5.99 and then it was on promotion so I got it for two I think I got it for $2.50 yeah from at home so I don't know if this will still be on promotion when this vlog goes live it's Sunday today and um, this should go up when I don't know when this is going up but that's what I got and what else did I get oh and then I got this diffuser that I showed you guys while I was in store and then I got a few hand towels for people to wipe and throw I don't know if I should have gotten white or I should have gotten a neutral color hmm. 
Anyway, I'll see if I change my mind. I will go return. And then I got such guys, I got such a pretty drop from Dior. Guys, I am officially on Dior's PRLS. Who am I? I'm so excited. Guys, I never saw I thought I'd see the day where I would have a drop from Dior. If you can see the amount of lipstick they've put in there. I always don't want to just remove the bow because I still want to do it on stories. So I want the bow to be as is. The way it came, you know. But they sent me so many. Let me just open one. Um so many. And this is how they look inside. The packaging is so cute, guys. This it was really now it's Dior and they invited me to the event, so I'm so excited. Um yeah, so this is my Dior drop that I got. And then the other day when we were at the Giorgio Armani event, I forgot to show you guys the fragrance that they gave us to take home. So they gave us this Ocean Dijo, huh? Dijo? I, I don't know. It's Giorgio Armani. So this is Gio. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Someone will tell me how that is pronounced. But the bottle, guys, so beautiful. Stunning. Stunning and not just the bottle itself, the fragrance is such a fresh fragrance. I would highly recommend this because this is something you would enjoy wearing in um, summer. It also reminds me of Dolce & Gabbana light blue. I don't know what it is, but the scent is quite similar to Dolce & Gabbana light blue. So if you are someone who loved that fragrance then you will definitely love this highly recommend very fresh like it reminds me also of my 212 fragrance which is also another um fresh scent that i love to wear i'm actually wearing 212 today so on day where i just want to smell good but i'm avoiding like sweet scents and like just like the scent that doesn't make sense with the way i'm feeling like today's a sunday and i was like relaxed I don't want something that overpowers, you know, sweetness and gives me a headache. So that's that. And then we're going into winter and we're still getting invited to events. So I ordered myself court heels. I got these in black. Guys, I have a love-hate relationship with Steve Madden. Um, and they actually have this at the back, which is cute. I have a love-hate relationship with Steve Madden shoes. I have these in nude as well. Steve Madden shoes, guys, are not comfortable. These are our, Steve Madden shoes are not the most comfortable shoes in the world. But I've been looking for a court heel that looks like this, okay? So I know this looks like a red bottom dupe. I won't lie. It is giving red bottom dupe uh, without paying the red bottom price. Can you see? Can you see the 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 the, the steepness of this shoe? So I needed myself this. But when I put it on, child, I'm just like, I don't know how I'm going to survive. So I didn't have any, I don't have any court heels. Guys, yeah, I just put it on and I'm really dead. I didn't have any court heels because I don't want to be showing my toes in winter. So I got them in nude and then I decided to order them in black. So because they didn't have i ordered the nude pair on superbless and then they didn't have the black pair in my size on um superbless i ordered straight off the steve madden website and they delivered within two days so they are reliable so yeah so for winter not showing my toes in case like i wear pants and then i just want to wear a coat heel this is the go-to and I can also rock this like you know when you want to wear a cute outfit but you want to wear stockings and you want to wear a cot heel that's why I got these black and the nude I'm gonna have to practice walking in these because you know after COVID um I can't walk in high heels like that anymore it's just and these need to be bro broken in they're so like I don't know I've seen people put like bags of water like here on the sides they're so tight so and then put them in the freezer i don't know if that works guys how do you break into your heels please comment down below so like i can do that with both of them because even the nude ones i haven't worn out yet because i'm just like wow 
But anyway, let me start cleaning up the bathroom because I need to film that reel today. Um, and Tina said she was coming. Let me just check. I think that's her messaging me. Oh my gosh, guys. I completely forgot to vlog while cooking. But anyway, it's low shedding now, so I can't watch TV. Um, but here is my food. I have carrot mash with um, chicken breast underneath there. And this is um, mushrooms with cream cheese. So we're still on, um, what do we call this thing? You cook? Yeah. And then a side salad. I don't think I'm going to finish this here. I only see myself eating like a quarter of this. It's a lot. Um, I'll leave the rest for lunch tomorrow. Yes, It is five past midnight. I'm trying to ruin my makeup as quick as I can and go sleep because I want to go to the gym tomorrow. Mm, I think, what should I do now? Remove my watch, put this on charge now. So removing my makeup takes quite a bit. Guys, I actually did this makeup thinking that I was going to film the Q&A today. And instead, I ended up filming reels. Because I was like, let me do my reels first. And then I'll do the Q&A after. But ugh, it just didn't happen. And then I realized I had important emails that I had forgotten to respond to. So I had to respond to those first. Guys, there's nothing as nice as like removing your makeup at night in the evening. So, I first, I don't know, like, I know people don't like wipes, but for me, I don't like how long it takes to wash off, like, um, this, like, powders and all of that. I just feel like it's a waste of water, to be honest. If we're being, like, if we're thinking about resources, we are wasting water when we do. So, I like to use a wipe. So that by the time I wash my face, because it still takes long, it doesn't take as long as it would if I were just trying to wash off my whole face. And I feel like it also takes my time because, you know, busy rubbing all this water and soap, trying to break down all this makeup when you could have first given your face a head start by like wiping it all off, you know? Uh, so I first go in with the wipe and then I'm going to go in with my cellar water. This is all before I wash my face. I like to make sure it's like super clean. And I use one wipe. I sort of like got my lash tangled up a bit here. I'm gonna go in with my cellar water. I use different ones, guys. It just honestly depends which one I reach for first. I have this one. I also have the Garnier one. So these are the two micellar waters that I use. But because I reached for my Eucerin first, I'm just gonna use that one. And then I take this cotton pad, the square ones i feel like the square ones are so much bigger and this is my last one so i need to go get more i get these from this cam and then you know how some of y'all use makeup wipes and think your face is clean see that it is not clean go in with that wipe 
with the micellar water and even just with micellar water you will see when I wash it with soap there's still gonna be dirt there's still gonna be makeup and this is the stuff that makes us that breaks out your skin when you don't make sure like you get this off and also I've noticed when you just like wash with soap sometimes the first time and you think it's clean it's usually not trust me it's usually not okay now see I have a wore eyeliner now let me show you how I get rid of the eyeliner I have another I usually use eye makeup remover for the eye area this one has cornflower extract so it's like it's got oil nyana so i would say get um eye makeup remover if it's not this one i have i have different eye makeup removers i don't know where the other one is i haven't been using that one in a long time and that's why i can't find it but basically yeah i have another one so because it's like it's got a little bit of oil or whatever it is when I rub this under my eye hair I mean look at that can you see the difference between my one eye and the other one I can't be waking up looking like a raccoon first thing in the morning because we don't want to take off eyeliner. Don't be that stubborn person. This is like so dirty already, and it's just from under my eyes. Can you imagine? So, I've had my lashes for quite a bit now. I'm gonna take this cotton pad, and then I'm gonna take the lash shampoo, and then I'm gonna take the lid. I've worn makeup quite a few number of times then I will like clean above you know with the because eyeshadow fallout is a real thing sometimes so there's a chop see it's brown see it's brown Clean your lashes guys there's no use in you having dirty eyelashes and possibly having an eye infection two of my lashes just fell out now we go in with the soap i'm using my um eucerin demi purifier i'm gonna wash my face twice scrolls one first step i'm obviously removing makeup and then the second step is probably going to be like to penetrate a bit deeper oil sunscreen one of the hardest things to clean off your face is sunscreen guys so please make sure you wash your face nicely when you don't clean your face nicely and you are wearing a lot of sunscreen and reapplying sunscreen throughout the day you will find that your skin keeps breaking out a lot and you don't know what it is you might think that it's acne when it's just your face needing to be clean properly okay I'm going in with a second round of face wash I mean, it takes long, but it is honestly so worth it, especially if you have sensitive skin, if you have acne prone skin, you realize that like just doing all these extra steps, just like, we'd rather do this than have to deal with horrible skin again or like question yourself why like your skin keeps breaking out and like nothing is like working and 
And if you're asking yourself why I'm driving like this, it's to just make sure that I'm like getting in to all those tight little spaces. And also this is for circulation of blood circulation. I saw that Asian people do this and it keeps their faces younger for longer. Okay, for serum, I'm just going in with my SD Lauder um, Advanced Night Repair. I'm just trying to make sure I finish. Now I'm trying to like go in with all my skincare that um, needs to be finished, you know, because I can't have things that are like a few drops away. Like, it doesn't make sense. Like, I'm taking up space for all the other skincare. Okay, this should be done by tomorrow night. Love how the stuff feels on the skin. If there's one thing that I love, guys, is serums. Serums do the thing. Serums are actually the best investment in your skin. I don't know how many serums I have, but like. I would rather apply serums on my face than moisturizer like I barely use moisturizer like all the time like I'll skip moisturizer sometimes and I'll just put my serums and then sunscreen in the morning and I'm just gonna go in with my retin a tonight I don't know like what's going on on the side but like my skin is like getting this weird texture here uh, and I haven't been using my retin a for a while actually so i'm just like i think i need to go back to using this the only problem is that this like really dries your skin out um and makes your skin flake also so peel kind of so i'm going to be using it every two every second night as you can see, I've had this for like a couple of months. It lasts. Um, one thing about this is that you can't get it over the counter. Only prescribed by your dermatologist. This was prescribed to me as an aftercare after my um, Uretane journey. So like because she did say that my skin will go back to producing a lot of oil so in case there's like an overproduction and i start breaking up because like an overproduction of oil also leads to breakouts like especially if you are not doing like your nighttime routine um and there was a time where i really wasn't taking care of my skin that much anymore i think sometimes we get too comfortable with things and you're like oh my skin is flourishing I can skip a night or two and I just realized that's not the case because of this situation right here it needs this rate in A so I'll put that on I'm gonna put my bonnet brush my teeth and go to bed guys Don't forget, what did I tell you? Wash your tongue before you sleep. The man is on. It's your best thing in the morning, and you don't have time to run to brush your teeth, and then next day, no, no. Hi, guys. Hi. Let's take your sister to work day. Tina took me to her job today. She's um, here at the stand. Usually, she comes with me when I'm working, and today she's a working girl. Where is she? She's gonna come out of that corner. There she is. Hello, working girl. I'm like, it's take your sister to work day. Yes. What? <laughs> of course. <laughs> I feel like you and I always take each other to work day. <laughs> no? Yes.
soup and then you make like a egg fried rice then you put sriracha that is amazing meal hey guys so i'm with mall of africa i'm a beauty on tap again um i'm just picking up some azelic acid okay azelic acid azelic acid oh so this is good for pigmentation spots blemishes I, yeah spots spots uh spots and blemishes yeah and then tina is trying this yeah that i got the other day who already told you it looks nice? <laughs> Why are you asking us again? <laughs> okay, ask us again. So, how does it look, guys? It looks very nice. But the is it makes your skin pop mm, it's too big. The one on the mannequin looks smaller. You were putting it on and you were facing that way, like the jeans against the jacket. It looks cute. Too cute. Raskis Shem. Hey guys! So, back home. I um, spent the day with Tina since she's visiting. I'll say to come visit me because I missed her. Yeah, be honest, babe. And say you wanted me to stay here until until. <laughs> so, she's here until Monday. <laughs> I do just day morning. Just day morning. I asked her to stay the whole weekend. I was like, could you please just, you know, like, I miss the times we lived together. I was even telling her, I miss the moments when, like, we'd cook dinner and then we'd, like, get ready to watch something because we always used to watch everything together. So we'd, like, sit down, watch whatever we're watching. Like, once we're done cooking, sit down. So now we're going to be making dinner, but everyone has their own meal. What are you having, Jimmy? Chinchuri, beef, and baby potatoes. I'm having green pepper and ostrich pasta. This is what it's supposed to look like. So we're about to cook dinner. Everyone is making their own thing. And then, yeah. Um, that's what I'm having. I'm thinking since a holiday, maybe I can have a glass of wine. It feels like a day where I can have a glass of wine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're an adult. What did you say? You're an adult. Hello. I think I'll have a glass of wine. Just like a little bit. So I don't know if I want to. So I have this vanilla Chardonnay. Okay, this was gifted to me by um, Cape Wine Crafters. Let me just put it this way so you guys can see. So this is the option. This is from Valter Frieda. 13.5%. So this, some taste of vanilla. Hints of butterscotch or English to uh, coffee. They say some call it creme, creme brulee. Honey, creme brulee. coconut, or cream caramel. And then there's other smells of tropical flavors of pineapple, passion fruit, or peach. This sounds nice and appetizing. It's either that one. Yeah, man. You're I'm not drinking this one. Okay. I was gonna either have the ikan down, but it's like literally, like this is where it's at. This is literally one for us. Maybe I should have this and not waste. Nah. It depends. Do you want one glass? Yeah, because now I'm not sure if I'm gonna have more than one glass and then I waste. Like I don't want to have two different wines. So maybe let me open this one because this sounds nicer. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have this, guys. This one I have. Um, and then I didn't film the content I was meant to film today. I have content I'm meant to film. Like there's so much I need to do. I need that light again, hey. The way I, like I'm glowing from just being here in this corner. Where's my food? So I'm wondering. I'm like, whose meal is this? <laughs> That's yours, man. Oh. So, so another thing Okay, what? Check down there If I don't have, I don't have No, I don't have oh, yeah. So another thing that I um, Noticed is that with you cook guys We've been eating a lot of ostrich And the first time I had ostrich Was through you cook And like, 
they absolutely love this so even though ostrich is a, is a bird it's actually considered red meat that's what i discovered and it's much healthier than beef and chicken so i was like okay it's cool we're eating this bird so many times like what the hell's going on and then i realized that they're trying to get us to be like healthy so i was like okay it's fine i vibe oh. with that you know for the povos are we povos it's a cheaper alternative if you're a povo so <laughs> like i think even when you buy it i think Woolworths tends to sell ostrich no mm. they do it's cheap like the meat is really cheap and it's tender it's good i think like for me one thing that i don't like about beef is like my teeth i have a lot of gaps in my teeth beef gets stuck in my teeth so bad that like i don't like eating beef when i'm out because one i usually forget to carry my floss so it's like i don't have time to floss so when i'm out i like to have either fish or chicken because then i don't want to be sitting there doing this like imagine on a date and you've got this piece of meat stuck in your teeth and like someone is talking do you know how like have you ever had that thing where when you've got beef stuck in your teeth you can't focus mm, you keep yeah. trying to get it out yeah you keep trying to get it out remember like yesterday i was like yeah you're going upstairs i want yes. a toothpick so i think it's it's nicer because because it's tender and if you cook it like to the right consistency like it doesn't like get stuck in your teeth whereas beef like usually it's like stuck in your teeth but what i love guys is that with you cook I am no longer wasting food. Guys, I don't know why I'm giving them so much free promo, hey? But anyway, because love it's them. Like something you're genuinely enjoying. Yeah, I'm genuinely enjoying their food. Uh, I'm enjoying the fact that I'm not wasting food. Like, I don't buy anything else that I don't eat. The one thing that I buy is like oats or something for breakfast. And I'm starting to eat like twice a day. You know, like, we're getting there. So that's cute. Here, so let me make my dinner and I will talk to you guys later. I'm gonna pour myself a glass of wine. Guys, is this way it's the way this girl is cooking for me? Look at her steak. She even found a way to position it. <laughs> Actually, that's smart. Next time I know, I know to put the tongue like that. And then she's busy here making a salad. She's even sitting on a. <laughs> what sort of chef are you? Hmm? Alright, so chef, you need to innovate things. Chef, what's the line? It's funny, right? Mm. Innovator. Okay. Hi guys, so I am in Santon looking for that red jacket that I saw yesterday. A lovely friend of mine, because you guys know me, all my friends. I posted on Instagram and she says they have it in Santon this morning. They didn't have it yesterday, but they have it this morning. So she's reserved two for me, one for me, one for Tina. So I'm going to go fit it on and see because I only fit it on the large and I want to fit on the medium and the small to see which one's going to fit. So let's head to her. But first I want to go get her coffee to say thank you. Um, so I'm going to go to Woolworths first. Hi, so here is the medium. I think it's perfect. The large is big, a small is gonna be too small, especially if I'm gonna lay it underneath. If you watch Tina's vlog, I guess we have to go to Switzerland. I don't know what the song is, I'm not gonna. This is what I am wearing today, guys. And this 
just my bag. <sighs> Hello guys, I'm busy. Like my house, I invite this girl for a weekend. I'm here to help you earn. And then oh, next oh, thing, I'm asking oh, what's going on here, and she's telling me Uguti, she can't just sit down. She's also trying to earn a living. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to earn a living for me here. Yeah, my house, I'm not making it a mess because I'm gonna clean. Hi boy, you like to act as if I was gonna leave it like that. Concentration is killing the youth. It's not killing the youth, it's making us money. <laughs> 